Welcome back to Fab Fun. Today I'm going to be working a little bit more on the brakes for the C60. Uh, Big Blue is getting some new brake wheel cylinders on the back. So let's see how things go.
Well, we're looking at day two here. We've got this drum is already back on. Uh, we've got to put the wheels on over here. Then I'm going to take this stand out, probably move it to the other side, take those wheels off. I've already got the wheel cylinders on the other side. I've already got the bolts taken out of them. I've got to get the drum off and put new wheel cylinders on. Put it all back together with the drum back on, put the wheels back on. Uh, the brake lines on the axle we have to take off. The brake lines that connect the wheel cylinders together have to be added. New, new lines, basically everything here on the rear end uh, has to be all new. So I'm going to start on that and see how far we can get tonight. It is a Friday night, so hopefully we can get quite a bit done. I don't have to get up early and go to work in the morning. So we'll see what we can get done. Maybe we'll be adding a little bit more video based on what we have to do Saturday. All right, everybody. So I didn't videotape a lot because I had company. There's a lot of conversation going on, a lot of tight spots, and it just wasn't going to be good video. Uh, and it'd just be basically close-ups of me uh, bumping the camera, sweating and grunting. So we got the other side on. I don't know if you can see very well. Uh, took the wheels off. Got the axle shaft out, got the nuts off, got the drum off, got the wheel cylinders off, and put new wheel cylinders on, got the drum back on, got the nuts in, got the wheels back on. We're missing a couple of lug nuts that we knew about. We've got one bad stud that we didn't replace. Uh, you got 10, 10 lug nuts. If you're missing one, you know, it's not the end of the world. We'll probably eventually replace it. But right now we're just focused on the brakes. We're replacing all the lines from the wheel cylinders. So you've got two wheel cylinders. Again, if you, if you didn't hear in the last video, you got one on top, one on the bottom. The line coming from the master cylinder and, and going wherever it goes on the frame, eventually making its way back here. So let's go backwards. Bleeder is at the very top on the top of the top wheel cylinder and then the fitting below that connects the wheel cylinders to each other and the very bottom fitting actually connects to the center of the axle just above the differential you've got a little three-way block and a rubber hose so as the suspension moves that rubber hose can flex it goes to a line on the frame which goes up and that's where we're going to connect somewhere around the cab somewhere in there uh, on the driver's side, just inside the frame rail, that's where we're going to connect into the old system. So everything from there back is going to have new brake lines. We ran into a problem on the wheel cylinders when we started putting everything back together and we were going to run a new line. Let me see if I can find the one that we made up. There we go. Forgive me. So. That will connect the two wheel cylinders. It curves around. It would actually go like if the side there is the uh, backing plate for the drum. This would connect and it curves around the axle tube. Now, what we ran into is that the two holes where these go in it's actually passing through the backing plate. So these nuts aren't quite long enough. By the time you start to tighten up against the backing plate, you don't have this flare seated all the way and tightened up. So when it gets tight, I can still kind of wiggle this line. So obviously it's not gonna be seated, it's not gonna seal, and we're gonna be leaking brake fluid. So we've gotta get longer nuts to go on there. I think that same size nut will work in every other situation on the truck but for that jumper line to go from wheel cylinder to wheel cylinder it will not work um other updates can't think of anything i'm more out been laying into this thing working on it wrenching on stuff um, we made some progress tonight i'm happy the other side is done to the point where we don't have to have the wheels off again or or carry that drum around which is pretty heavy 
So, guys, I apologize. I don't have lots of video to give you in this one, and I'm not completely done. I was hoping that I could do all the video, pack it together in one piece, and say, hey, we're finishing up the brake job here. It's never as easy as you think it's gonna be. We were making really good time, and then all of a sudden, things are stripping out, things aren't fitting, uh, the nuts weren't, weren't gonna completely tighten up. So, we've got a few more things to get, but, you know, at least to get to spend time with family and work on something together and, and learn a little bit along the way. Again, I haven't, I haven't had a lot of experience working on trucks this size and it's, it's nice to have more room to move around underneath, but at the same time, everything's bigger and when it's rusted, it's, it's that much harder uh, to move and break loose because you've got something this big that's rusted tight instead of this big in some cases. So. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the content, hit like. If you didn't like the content, be nice and go ahead and hit like, please, because I've had a very long day. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you want to check out some of the other, other videos that are maybe a little bit more fun and creative, subscribe. And definitely leave some comments. If you have any advice, uh, if you have any stories about other things. Looks like you're all smudged up. Gosh, that's horrible. I don't have a clean spot on my shirt to clean you up. I'm probably just scratching the lens. That, that looks a little bit better. Blah. I have rust in my mouth. If you have any stories about working on something and things are going right and you feel really good about it and then all of a sudden a couple things turn the other direction and all of a sudden you start running into more and more complications, leave a story and hopefully it's humorous Leave a story in the comment section below and let's get some details on what happened to you. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you next time. I look forward to having some more projects that are going to be not so much fun and not a lot of fabrication, but things have to be done. And I'm sure you guys will get some entertainment out of me at least sweating and being slightly miserable. <laughs>